Hey guys, today's video is going to be something a little bit different. I saw this video, um, I think, Sophia Nygaard. She's a girl that used to work at BuzzFeed and now she's just got a YouTube channel and she does all these weird videos, like really unique videos. She did this video where she mixed all her foundations together and then wore it for a day just to see how the formula would be, the coverage, the finish, all that stuff. I just thought it was an interesting video and something that I could do as well. So obviously that was her idea and I'm just doing the same kind of thing so none of the credit goes to me for this I just thought it was a really interesting video I just thought it'd be a fun video something a little bit different and yeah so I'm just gonna do that today so I'm gonna mix all my foundations together so let's just get straight into the video my skin is a kind of normal to dry kind of skin type I already put primer and moisturizer and stuff on before I started filming so it feels all right now I did give myself a little bit of a facial um, yesterday or the day before so my skin is pretty good at the moment I got rid of all the dead skin and gross stuff on my face so, so I give myself a little bit of a facial just just a skincare routine basically but I don't know yeah I just call it a little bit of a facial I do that once or twice a week so it's got all the dead skin and gross stuff off my nose and chin especially um, I tend to get quite clogged pores around my nose I've got I don't know I'll call them medium to large pores I always like squeeze at them and stuff but yeah foundation doesn't like to sit on my nose my skin is pretty normal to dry on the drier side when I haven't really taken care of it that well like I've just been moisturizing and I haven't done my little facial routine so at the moment it's pretty good I do have a dry patch here I've got a couple dry patches around I get a little bit sweaty down the middle of my face and like around my nose on my mustache area especially on my chin and then the rest is pretty much fine um, my skin is a little bit sensitive I'm quite a I'd say a light skin tone light to fair I do have a little bit of like tanning moisturizer on at the moment which is making me look a little bit more tan than I usually am so we'll see how this goes because a lot of my foundations are a little bit lighter I typically go for something quite maybe like a satin finish not quite dewy not quite matte I do like to have a medium to full coverage um, I do have some quite matte foundations in my little collection and I also have some quite dewy ones as well so it'll be interesting to see what the formula of this foundation all mixed together is. I don't really know what else to say I've honestly got just a big range of different formulas of foundations so we'll see how this goes. So I've got a little container I'm just going to mix them in. I'm not going to mix much up but I'm just going to do maybe like a pump of each foundation and go from there. I probably won't need much. I probably won't end up using it ever again so I don't want to waste my foundations and I think I don't really know how to go about this I'll do some kind of I might do like a swatch on my collarbone so you can see the color compared to my actual skin tone my hands are always quite pale my face is quite pale it's always lighter and more pinky toned than my actual body I have like a pink undertoned face and then the rest of my body is quite of a yellow undertone so that never matches up um, yeah, so I'm going to try and match it to my collarbone and not my face. And yeah, maybe I'll just do a swatch of each one on my collarbone so you can actually see the colour compared to my actual skin colour. And like I said before, just keep in mind that I do have the tiniest bit of a tan right now. Okay, let's just start mixing now. So I'm just going to pull them out in a random order. I do have mostly... Actually, I think in this collection I've only got one high-end foundation and then the rest are from Priceline, their drugstore. I just prefer drugstore foundations, honestly. Like, I do have some more foundations, but they are my makeup kit that I use on clients and I don't wear them on myself, so I don't really want to include it in this video. So the first one I pulled out is the Designer Brands Longwear Foundation, the 24-hour foundation. I'd say it has quite a semi-matte finish, very full coverage, very thick. And this one does oxidize. It's a little bit darker because they don't have a great range of colors. So this one is in the color Nude Beige. So that's just the color of it compared to my skin tone. I really can't see that on the viewfinder because everything's a little bit washed out. Hopefully you can see that better in the footage. I'm just going to pump one pump into the little container. Can you even see that? There you go. Next is the Bourjois Happy Life Foundation. This is one that I don't really use very often at all. I haven't used it for ages. I don't really remember the formula of this one. This is in the colour number 52. I think it's quite a dewy, medium to light coverage, but I could be wrong. 
There's a swatch of that one. It's coming up quite orange, like really, really quite orange. Pump that in. I might just do two because that wasn't a very big pump. Next is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. This is the normal to oily skin foundation. So this one's a matte one. This one is in the color 220. So this is the color that I use when I'm fake tanned. Quite a matte finish. And obviously this one is quite dark. This is the Essence Camouflage 2-in-1 Makeup and Concealer. I've never actually used this one as a foundation. I just bought it as a concealer and I wasn't crazy about it. This is in the color 20 Nude Beige. It's quite a thick, moussey formula and it doesn't have the best coverage even though it's thick. And a squeeze of it. That one is a lot lighter than the rest. This is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. This is in 40 Nude. This one's a very, very runny foundation. Quite a light to medium coverage. Very light actually, and you can build it up to medium. Very runny. This one's quite dark because it's in 40. I haven't really used this one. Not my favorite one. Very dark again. I've got a lot of darker foundations that I didn't even realize. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous formula of their foundation. This is in Buff Beige, I think. I haven't really used this one. It's got a weird smell. Um, not a great fan of it. Don't remember the coverage or the texture of it. The thickness, I mean. It's quite small pumps. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation. This is in 103 True Ivory. Haven't used this one for ages. I think it's like a medium to light coverage. Kind of a dewy, thinner formula. I'm just gonna do one to two pumps. I don't know. Next is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. This one is quite a light color. This is in the color 52 Vanilla. Um, it's like yeah, it's a serum. I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's just a bit of a weird consistency and maybe medium to light coverage. Can't really remember. Haven't used it for quite a while. This one's the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in Dewy and Smooth. So this is the one for dry to normal skin. This is in the color 120. Quite a thin consistency. Like, not runny, but it's still thin. Um, medium coverage, dewy. This one's pretty empty, so I just scooped out a bit with my little stick. Next is the Astralis Don't Sweat It Water Resistant Foundation. I did a first impressions review on this one. I really didn't like it. It wasn't very great. It's quite a thick formula. I think the color was okay. Can't really remember. I haven't used it since. Um, it was quite thick and cakey and I don't know. I didn't like it. Next is the Chi Chi Super BB Cream. This is in the color medium. So it's just a light coverage, light to medium. I guess you can build it up coverage. Um, quite a dewy formula, obviously, because it's a CC cream, a BB cream, I mean. I used to love this one. I haven't used it for ages. That's the color there. Come on. There we go. This one is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation, water foundation, it's like a very watery consistency, has good coverage, this is in the colour Fair Light Neutral, um, I quite like this one, I did do a first impression on this one. Another one of the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundations, this is in the colour Classic Ivory, number 20. Another one of the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundations. This is in 120, so it's the same color as the dewy one, same formula as the um, darker one. The L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. This is in the color vanilla, a very thick foundation, very matte, and this one's quite a light um, color. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh, that was way too much. Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation in the shade 103 True Ivory. This is one of my favourites. It's a medium to full coverage, satiny, kind of dewy finish, medium texture. Total Control Drops. This is in the colour Vanilla. 
Um, I did first impressions on this. I don't know if that'll be up. It'll probably be up before this. But yeah, this is a really watery foundation. Decent coverage. And I think this is the last one. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. This one is quite matte, quite thick. Uh, I don't like it at all. So that's all my foundations in there. I think that's plenty. That's heaps, honestly. I'm just going to mix it up now. It looks kind of darker than my normal skin tone, honestly. I didn't realise I had so many foundations that were just way too dark for me. So just looking at it, it looks to be... It might be in the right colour, actually. I reckon that might work. Um, it is runny. It's not too runny. It's not too thick. See how this goes on my face. So I'm going to apply it with my damp, um, what's it called, Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. I can never remember the name of this, the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. So I'm just going to use the little spatula and dot it around my face. Holy shit, that's cold. Usually foundations don't sit very nice on my nose. I usually have to put down a concealer to, I don't know, work as a base. But I haven't done that today. Um, other than that, I have primed how I usually would prime moisturized all that stuff how I usually would and then I'll just do the rest of my makeup how I usually would and I'll check in throughout the day to update you on how it actually went okay so so far it actually looks quite nice <laughs> just that tiny bit that I've done just because again I do have a little bit of tan on there but honestly it's looking decent it's getting me in trouble, baby. I never do my foundation after my eyes so I might struggle. Okay, so applying it, it did seem like a satin finish. <laughs> Sorry, I look like a mess. It did seem like a satin finish. Um, it seems to be drying down to a bit more of a matte. Like, it's not fully matte, but it's a bit more matte than I expected it to dry down to. Um, it does have decent coverage. It's actually looking quite nice on my skin. I can't lie. It's sitting decent on my nose, which is surprising. And also, it seems to have like a luminous glow to it even though it is a more matte um, foundation I guess. It's got decent coverage, probably about a medium coverage. I might try and build it up a bit more just because I like to have a more full coverage foundation. Just personal preference. I cannot get around my eyebrows properly. In the viewfinder it is looking a little bit light but then again I do have like a spotlight on my face. It's looking a bit better when the spotlight's not just on my face. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the colour, I'm actually pretty happy with the formula as well. And I'm just going to try and do another layer. The second coat isn't looking as great on my nose, I think it was just too much product. So I'm actually quite happy with that, I'm really quite surprised. Up close it looks really quite nice, except for the nose, it's not the best. And I do have some like flaky skin on my moustache area, which isn't looking the best, but I'm actually really surprised with how it looks. In person, um, in this lighting, it's maybe a smidge too light, but it's really not as noticeable as it is on camera, just because, again, the light is right on my face and not so much on my chest. Still, like, a matte, semi-matte. I don't really know what that is. It did build nicely on top of itself and, like, gave it nice coverage. It's very quite even. Here's an up close and personal look of the foundation. I'm sorry about how gross my lips look. This is the foundation. You can, I don't know, see for yourself what you think it looks like. I'm really quite happy with how this looked. I was not expecting this to look, I don't know, decent, I guess. Forehead, um, you can see on my nose, like I've just got some flaky skin or like it needs to be peeled off or exfoliated and it's just not looking the best. And again, it's not looking great around the nostrils. Um, dry skin there, which is kind of expected, but the rest I really quite like how it looks. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back in a few hours to let you know how everything went. Um, I might check in once or twice, I'm not really sure, but I'll definitely be back. So I finished doing the rest of my face makeup and everything seemed to go normally on top of it. No problems, no issues. Um, usually I spray my face with some kind of setting spray or some kind of spray to set down the um the powders i don't think i'll be doing that today i have looked at it in like natural light with the sun straight on my face and it does look a bit cakey so i'm a little bit tempted to spray my face with some kind of 
spray to set down the powders but I don't think I will but yeah this is just what the foundation looks like with everything on top of it there's no issues everything looks exactly how it would usually it's quite matte now I have set it down with powders I've like used a loose translucent powder around the center of my face around my t-zone so it doesn't go anywhere and then I set the rest of my face lightly with a pressed like a pressed foundation powder I guess you could call it it had some color to it so I am looking quite matte. So it's more of a matte finish now that I've got it all set down. But honestly, I kind of prefer a little bit more of a matte finish than a dewy finish. So I haven't really got anything else to say about it. I'll check in later in the day. So I'm back and it's now about 11 o'clock at night. I forgot to say when I did the start of this video that it was about four o'clock or something like that, but it has been about seven hours. I haven't really done much today. It's just been shit weather, so I've been inside all day. Haven't really done much to test out my foundation and yeah this is just what it looks like so it basically just looks the same don't mind the glasses marks on my face that happens every single time I wear foundation because I do actually wear glasses like most of the time except for when I'm filming so yeah I've got glasses marks which happens all the time it seems that the bottom of my nose has lost the foundation quite a bit which I feel like I haven't been touching my nose that much so I don't know why that is it's really not looking very nice on my nose it's quite cakey and patchy and I don't know but I guess it was kind of like that before it's just kind of gotten worse um, started to come off my mustache area especially like this bit here it is quite flaky and I didn't really expect it to last very long anyway so that's kind of expected it's gone a little bit cakey around my chin it started to go into that line right there um, I was sweating a little bit and my chin does tend to sweat on my face so maybe that's why it's not looking the best. Cheeks are looking maybe a little bit patchy just there. I was laying on my side, so maybe that's why. The rest is looking pretty damn good actually. Like my whole cheek area is looking pretty good. Same with this side. Yeah, I can't complain. Honestly, I just I can't complain. I'm actually really quite happy with how this turned out. I did not have very high hopes for this mixing all my foundations together. I don't really know what I expected, but I don't know. I just didn't expect it to go very well. But I guess if you've got a bunch of foundations that you like, then maybe mixing them all together will just make it even better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's something a little bit different. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. That would be great if you did. And you can follow me on Instagram, which is just Chelsea Beauty with the underscore at the end. And also, I now have a Twitter. I have no idea how to use it. I have two followers. If you want to go follow me on there and get me into the swing of things, my name is Chelsea Beauty with the underscore again. So same name as here on Instagram, same name on everything. I hope you had a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. All the wrongs in the